stay tuned on the other side of this video for Ask Shay King. <laughs> about going raw and vegan for the next 30 days. Hey guys, welcome back to Ask Shea King. I am your girl Shea King, nutritionist and coach. And today I'm gonna to talk about my tips on how to go raw vegan for just 30 days. So first things first. Now in order to follow a raw vegan diet, you should first ensure that at least 75% of all your foods you eat is raw or cooked at a temperature below 118 degrees Fahrenheit and that's anywhere from uh, I guess when it's equivalent to Celsius it's like about 48 degrees Celsius that's one and secondly is animal products should be avoided entirely did I say entirely yeah because it is vegan now however if you want to wear your leather slippers that week <laughs> you most definitely can but in order to go raw vegan you definitely want to be avoiding all animal products that you would normally ingest so uh, my tips begin with um, preparing for 30 days so first things first we're in my kitchen you would need to invest in a few kitchen tools that is so important to go to go in raw vegan because what I find is if you're doing this for 30 days it can be extremely successful however sometimes when people think about just eating fruits and vegetables you know they think I'm gonna be eating a salad for 30 days uh, not exactly what you're gonna be doing is eat, eating raw for 30 days and the tips that I'm going to share today with you is going to help to make that fun and exciting and very creative. So the first thing, like I said, you want to invest in kitchen tools. And my top three tools definitely is one, a blender. Not just any blender though. You want to get a blender that is going to help you to prepare soups um, and food that is processed in temperatures anywhere between 104 to 118 degrees so it can still be considered a raw uncooked food so you want to invest in a blender now i happen to be a blendtec girl there are other blenders out there but blendtec is what i would recommend to do uh to get a blender when you're going to go raw for 30 days secondly is dun, 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 a food processor listen you need to have a food processor because you are going to want to transform some of those foods in order to help them to be created to make you feel emotionally connected to eating raw for 30 days and also to help you stay on eating raw the next thing is a veggie sterilizer now let me just say this whoever created the idea and the concept of sterilizing these vegetables like zucchini and cucumbers and carrots and even yeah potatoes listen you guys are geniuses why because let me tell you something about a, a sterilized vegetable it is something when you see carrots in a twirl like this omg it just makes it taste different i mean it's crazy if you know in the comment section below if you could kind of identify with me just say something to your girl because it just makes the vegetable taste different so those are the three top things blender food processor and then a veggie sterilizer that's one thing to prepare secondly choose the date when you will start and if you're thinking about going raw vegan for 30 days start on the first day or the first week um, in that month because again you need to be able to connect emotionally emotionally to what you're doing I find that when people are doing something for like any type of eating plan or protocol anywhere from between 21 to 30 days start at the beginning of the month or make sure all of your days fall within one month because psychologically like emotionally mentally it just feels like okay it's June I am going to go raw vegan in the month of June 
um, somehow when you start in the middle of one month and end in the next month, now mind you, it's still 21 to 30 days, but it just feels longer. So yeah, I don't know what that's about, but yeah, my tip too is start the first of the month and each uh, month, the first day of the first week, um, when you choose your start date. So this is a big one for me. You definitely want to clean out your eating environment. And that's anywhere that you would be eating in your pantry, your kitchen, in your house, and even your office. Because if you're going out to work, I know we're dealing with a lot of people that are working from home, but if you have to go into the office, you want to make sure that that is cleaned out because that is a part of your eating environment. Then you also want to tell your family and your friends that you're going to go raw vegan for 30 days. Then next, you want to go grocery shopping. But during this time, you want to kind of divide your grocery shopping list into two parts. Because if you're going raw vegan for 30 days, one of the first things you want to do is have enough of the dry foods on hand. And so you want to go shopping for your dry foods firstly. And this is like a week or so to prepare for, for going raw for 30 days. Even somewhere between 14 to 10 days ahead of time would be okay. So these things are like your raw nuts, your raw seeds, uh, your raw nut butters and the seed butters, like your cashew butters, tahini. These are the things that you want to have in advance and you don't want to wait to the last minute because these items can be a little bit pricey and because they're pricey, if you can get it on a discount or, you know, mark down a couple of days before, a couple of weeks before you go raw vegan for 30 days, this works perfectly. Also, you want to look for things like your spices, like nutritional yeast is one of the big ones for me. I like a raw miso, even your raw wraps. Um, made from there are raw coconut wraps that are out there when I did 21 days raw I incorporated those raw wraps also to your raw nori sheets your raw sea moss gel and even your raw sea moss um, another tip that will be considered uh, shopping for the dry foods first is bottled water. Now I know sometimes when you're out there, you see people that are going on these eating plans and everyone is saying from nutritionists um, to dietitians, they say, you got to drink your water. You got to drink your water. Let me tell you one of my top tips when it comes to drinking sufficient water, especially if you're going to go raw and vegan for 30 days, get your water in smaller sizes. I recommend anywhere from between 12 to eight ounces in sizes. Now, let me tell you what I found with my clients, particularly, they tend to drink more water when the bottle size is smaller because the goal is to drink your water and get rid of the bottle or put it up to be refilled more quickly. I find that even though for people that are not drinking a lot of water, when they're carrying around like a liter and a half or even sometimes a gallon of water, they just kind of chugging it around with them like oh, I gotta take my water so that is my go-to tip my number one tip going raw vegan get smaller size bottles 12 to 8 ounce sizes with your water it helps you actually yes to drink more water the next tip is you want to shop for your fresh fruit items days before you start. So those fresh fruit items will of course be your fruits. Now when you're looking at fruits, don't just get random fruits. Look for fruits that are in season. Why? Because when you're going raw vegan for 30 days, your taste buds is going to be what you need to help to sustain you when you're switching over from eating a lot of cooked and refined foods. So you want to stick with fruits that are in season because they are sweeter and they are better on the budget in terms of cost. So you want to stick to fruits in season. It's okay to add in other fruits that you may like that are not in season, but try sticking to fruits that are in season. Like this is June. So you want to look for June or summer fruits, like things that are just like so plentiful right now, like cherries and blueberries and strawberries and mangoes and persimmon. There are a whole bunch of fruits that are in season. Those are the fruits you want to stick to, particularly when you are going raw and vegan for 30 days during the summer months. Also, you want to shop for your vegetables. Now, one of the things that I recommend is 
buying your grocery at the end of each week to start the beginning of the new week when it comes to the fresh fruits and vegetables and your organic leafy greens go to the farmers market and buy them fresh every weekend so you'll have them to start monday because a lot of going raw and vegan is having your fruits fresh um, um, and vegetables available and just being able to make them exciting and creative you know um, and that's one of the reasons why you want to have fresh fruits and vegetables and organic leafy greens you want to buy them every week so a whole pile of them are not just sitting in the food store one of the biggest mistakes people make when they're going raw and vegan is they just go out and buy all of their fresh and dry produce and food just all in the beginning of the week yeah I kind of my you guys see my beautiful flower oh one of my girlfriends gave this to me I love it I love fresh flowers yeah so back to going raw and vegan uh, you definitely want to do your fresh grocery shopping list the weekend before you physically start on that uh, week and so I hope you guys enjoyed it those are my tips for going raw vegan for 30 days and so if this is your first time to my channel please make sure you hit the subscribe button and of course you know the bell up there so you get all of the future notifications when I put up a new video so we don't forget to like the video make sure you share the video I know someone wants to ask